Hi, thanks for trying that. The second measurement we're going to learn about is heights. There are four different kinds of heights. The total height of the tree is the distance from the ground to the top of the tree. The bowl height is the distance from the ground to the first crown branch. So it's that straight tree trunk here on this silly tree. Merchantable height is taking the tree up to the top until the diameter is so small that it's unusable. In that case, it becomes slash and it stays on the property. And that's kind of a good thing because it puts nutrients back into the soil, but it's kind of a bad thing because it doesn't look very nice. Also, when there's a timber sale contract, we talk about the stump height, the distance from the ground to the top of the stump. And each of the contracts will designate that. Of course, at Rocky Mountain National Park, the stump has to be as low to the ground as possible for leave no trace and because it has more of a preservation ethic. Number two. are the three instruments. The first one is called a merit hypsometer, and that is actually found on the side of the stick, which is called the Biltmore stick. And what you do is you stand 66 feet from the tree, and you count the number of 16-foot logs as if you were going to manage the forest for logging, for sure, for a forest project, for a forest product. Uh, the second one is an abney level, which is used in surveying. And you look through that sighting tube, and you look for the bubble. And the bubble is like the bubble on a level. And as soon as you get to the top of the tree, you take a measurement, and then you get to the bottom of the tree, and you measure it, and you add those together or subtract them, depending on whether they're positive or negatives. Now, the abney level is condensed into a clinometer, which is a instrument from Finland, and it's called a Sunto clinometer. So this is the one we'll mostly be using. I'll also teach you about reliscops and lasers. So this is the Sunto clinometer, similar to the Amni level, but much easier to use. It comes in a blue case that I'd like you to use and then it is hanging from a strap and you look through this eyepiece and at the tree at the same time. So let me teach you how to do that and then we'll practice that. So also there's lasers and reliscops. So when measuring heights, make sure that the tree is vertical to your eye. If you can't spot the top of the tree, you can actually have the person standing at the base of the tree kick the tree and the top will wiggle. There, wiggle. Remember, if the signs are the same, then subtract. Now, if you look at the scale here, you'll see that on the left side of the clinometer scale is degrees and the right side is percent. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to walk out 100 feet from the tree and use the percent scale which is the scale on the right side. We are going to take that reading at the base of the tree, and then we're going to take the reading at the top of the tree and add those two numbers together because one number will be negative and one number will be positive if you're standing on a straight slope which never happens in Colorado. So let me teach you more. If you get a reading of plus 50 and plus 10, you have to calculate your reading differently. If you get a reading of plus 50 and minus 10, the tree is 60 feet tall. So I'm going to give you a practice exercise so you can learn how to calculate all three of those in this quiz. So we'll take a short break again and come back in a sec.